What is up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through some drainage specialist websites and kind of talking about my experience uh, as a consumer and my impression of some of their SEO and uh, some of the pros and cons of things they're doing on page in particular. And then I want to kind of highlight to people what I think is, is good practice from an SEO standpoint, but I also want to talk about from the standpoint of a consumer, my experience hiring a contractor recently to get a French drain installed here on the pro on the property at home. Um, so let's get into it. I contacted a variety of uh, several companies from top Google web index listings and also from Google maps. I contacted a variety of companies about half of them didn't have yet to contact me and it's been over a week. And then the other half, um, I've, I was able to get uh, quotes from them and picked up a particular company. And so we'll talk about that. So Circle D Construction is the first company uh, on this list. I don't think they were the first company ranking necessarily, but they're one of the top companies. And this is the page that I land on. They're, they are targeting landscape drainage. Pretty interesting. Uh, approach to that. So not an invalid way of doing it. It just kind of an, an interesting angle. So let's take a look at the term. It looks like 44 search, 4,400 searches a month uh, at the national scale. That is not very much. Um, and th these guys never contacted me. They never called me. Uh, no email. I uh, just didn't never heard from them. So not a good sign. Uh, the It's interesting that you could maybe argue, okay, they're targeting landscaping with this page and also they're targeting maybe drainage ranking. But as a singular term, this is not really a good uh, opportunity. Drainage Solution also has kind of, I was surprised when I looked at this earlier, Drainage Solution had a few thousand searches. And then drainage systems had something like 33,000 searches. So a number of, of uh, there's at least a couple I saw uh, that use this term drainage solution. And I don't even think it's, it, it's not even the most ideal term. So some of this is like, I see SEOs doing some work out here, but the keyword research is, is kind of poor. So they're ranking, but uh, they're not really that, that well optimized in some cases. So uh, Circle D construction seems to be more broad. Let's see other services. They have drainage solutions, stonework, wood structures, sprinklers. So they, they offer a variety of services and definitely their, their uh, drainage page can prob probably be improved. Let's see uh, answers to these. There's only one keyword in this uh, content here. And there's, I guess you could say there's two separate terms, one uniform term that's not, there's not going to be very much volume locally for that phrase. So not really well optimized, but looks like they do have specialized pages for French drains, surface drains, sump pumps. And I would say most of the companies had maybe, that's probably a good number, three to five to seven. That's kind of a range there. The more, the better, because when I looking for a drainage solution, I needed to see what the options were like in the research that I've done over the last two years, it seemed like a French drain is what we needed, but there are a number of other drainage types and the, and the, the way that they are referenced between these companies and significantly vary. So surface drains, 3,600 search volume a month. That's pretty much nothing, especially locally split up. That's nothing compared to something like French drains. Look at the search volume on French drains nationally, 135,000. It is a beast of a niche. So you kind of got to ask, you know, why do you, why do people even use this? Because, uh, and certainly from a standpoint of a uh, residential consumer, they're not going to even know the names of all these kinds of things. So it, that, that's where it does make sense to use something more broad like this or drainage solution but the search volume is so low when you break it down to location, it's, it's kind of pointless. So it's like, 
it's more like you need to find the more generic, like what is the average person entering in at a large scale in terms of drainage? So I would almost come over here to the cert, the, the keyword tool and just type in drainage. Pardon me. And then let's see the search volume. Yeah, 368,000, huge. And then look at some of the related keywords, pipe systems. And I think that's the term right there, drainage systems, water drainage. <laughs> that's probably what I would do water drainage systems and services that's that's something i would do along those lines pardon me um and let's see are there any others trending long tail lymphatic drainage massage man that's huge huge volume drainage pipe drainage system drainage channel i need to look that one up i would look that one up serious drainage Pure, purulent drainage, drainage basin. There's a lot of sinus types of things here, so it's kind of muddling it up. Advanced. So I would put, there you go, advanced water drainage systems. <laughs> there you go. I pretty much guarantee you almost nobody. In fact, just out of curiosity, let's let's do a phrase match in Google. I don't, I rarely do this, but let's let's do this just for just for kicks. Advanced water drainage systems let's see 1600 results in google and i bet yeah none of them are that's phrase match let's let's do uh, let's do all in title can we do this with a quote like that i doubt that we can one result look at this guy look at this guy one there one person one website let's see advanced stainless steel drainage systems for industrial and commercial kitchen solutions is that in the meta title advanced water drainage systems so whoever this is i don't know who's running this site but they they are the apparently there's only one other person in the country who figured it out <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the power keyword right there, because you're hitting all those those juicy those juicy volumes at you know at scale there. So, anyways, you get the idea. So that's kind of what I would do, and then subsequently do the specialty pages pointing over there, so you could get that, um, you could get that on page proc, you know, surface regrading. Because some of these terms, like a lot of these terms, like from a commercial standpoint, you might be able to proc for some of that stuff. You might be able to proc in terms of um, bigger construction companies looking to subcontract. You know, that kind of makes more sense from that context. But with a lot of this stuff, like unless you're looking for residential individuals who are who somehow find an informational page, which you should own those pages anyways. Then they're not really going to want to. They're not really going to know what those are. So you really need to go as broad as possible, so that you can then funnel them down into learning about the solutions for the drainage for drainage from a generic standpoint. You see what I'm saying? And that's the page. But that's the page that you want to rank. And so you also want to have locations on that page for local services, landscape drainage systems. There you go. Pardon me. So that's better. I wonder if landscape systems ranks better. Let's take a look here landscape systems about that that's a term oh they're gonna throw a recaptcha because i did a single all in title that's that's rude <laughs> so that's 1900 a month yeah that's that's not significant enough it's scale so we've got signs of drainage issues Pooling water and downspout areas, soggy ground. So this is obviously a point where you could put keywords on page. Like they're going to, you know, articulate the problems and then hopefully supply benefits. That's kind of how that's, I think the one of the better ways to do that. You know, I'd say, here's the, here's a series of problems. Here's a, here's a dash solution kind of thing. Be a great idea, recommendation, you know, average cost, etc. And, you know, contractors are notorious. They never want to do estimations, which is fine, but. You, there are websites where you, like cost owl or something where they give you a range of like the average cost of something or other. Obviously it's not going to be, 
exact to whatever your circumstance is, especially if you have like, we had tree roots here on the property that had to be removed and there was sod that needed to be laid down. And then a certain part of it needed a French drain, but then the rest of it used pipe drain. So it, it is definitely variable and you run into, they run into problems as they excavate. So that's also not something that's articulated very well on a lot of these sites. You know, quotes, in my experience, quotes are given, but it's not really explained that unforeseen problems can lead to extra costs, you know, and the guys that I dealt with were all very sincere and down to earth, but they really didn't take very much time to make note of like, okay, there's clearly roots sticking up out of the ground, like they could have tallied it, you know, so there's, there's stuff like that where, I think if I think if contractors are more transparent about that, then it, it would be a better experience because I know that really ticks a lot of people off. But anyways, I had a great experience with the company that we chose and we'll get we'll get to that in a minute. Um, causes of drainage issues, et cetera. So that's probably some good stuff. You'd have to check to see if the keywords were ideal there. Landscape drainage solutions. What can professionals do, et cetera. There's no locations on this page, so that's a huge downside. They need to location. They need to tag this page with locations uh, in some capacity. I also think this is way too much. Like, it needs to be consolidated. It needs to be more organized. Because when I, I when I looked at this page, I was really kind of irritated by the fact that there was just so much mess on the page. As a consumer, you know, I wanted some concise information. And I really, I really felt like this, this page did not do that. Um, compared to some of the other pages. I, I also find it a little odd that there are so many people ranking that don't really have pictures, you know, or they don't explain like, uh, you know, use case for some of these solutions where it seems like it'd be really easy for a contractor to just take pictures of, of certain things in residential areas and, you know, do videos on site. Like I, if you do searches online, you can find people who do this kind of thing. I, and I just, I think that should be really, com that should be commonplace for some of these local services, you know, like a wall of text may do well for SEO or it may, it may be passable for SEO, but this is definitely something that, you, you don't, when you're, when you're thinking from an SEO standpoint, it's kind of like, we need to get the keywords on page and it needs to be like, there's kind of like a systematic way of thinking, right? From a, but from a consumer standpoint, it needs to be as consolidated as possible. What I want to know as a consumer, I want to know the average amount of time that the job takes. I want to know like, what's your queue for jobs right now? I want to know, uh, are you insured and bonded and stuff like that or whatever? I want to know, uh, I want to see your reviews. I want to see social proof on that page. I also want to see the average costs, you know, like when I see those kind of, that kind of transparency, it really goes a long way. You know, like there were two, I think there were two bids that I got where they couldn't come for two to three months. <laughs> and that's, that is way too far away. That's like an infrastructural issue. You know, and it's kind of wild when you think about it, like they're getting a lot of leads, like their queue is so full, but, you know, they're not fulfilling those leads. Like it really, and there's, meanwhile, there's a lot of contractors who are like, they're hungry for work, you know? So there's clearly a problem there. Like when you think about it from an SEO standpoint, which also means that there's a really big opportunity, I think, certainly for local uh, in services like this. And if you could figure out a way to also get, get an asset going for something like that, you'd, it, you you always have income because these services are evergreen. People are always going to need drainage solutions, right? Anyway, so Circle D did not. You know, they have some. There's some pros to the way that they're structuring content. Not, I think this page is really poor. On this page, I think there's some pros here with some of this content, but I think it's way too busy. There's a lot of things missing, um, and it needs to it needs to be simplified. You know. Uh, and they didn't call, they didn't contact me. So obviously I didn't move forward with those guys moving on here. This guy Sporange 
he actually texted me. He was the first one to text me. He texted me really quickly. You can see social proof here. I really appreciate that. He's got a meta title that's more location geared, right? Look at his uh, tag here, uh, Sporange Landscape and Drainage. So that's, uh, so he's kind of articulating like two separate types of, you know, services. It would be better, and he's got Landscape Contractor in there. So he's really leaning more towards the landscape fra uh, phrases, which is probably a good idea. Landscaping is is huge, like the, the, the search volume is huge there. Let's see, Contractor. Actually, that's way smaller than I expected. Landscape contractor, 12K. Landscaping contractor, 12K. Landscaping services, 27K. Landscaping company, 30, 33K, man. So that's even that's a, even an example where he... Um, he could optimize so much better in terms of the root, his root of his page where he could go landscaping, uh, contractor services, you know, or, uh, services for, uh, uh, landscape, landscaping, uh, company, uh, and services like uh, probably something like landscaper landscaping contractor services or, uh, you know, I would I'd find a way to fit all three of those in there somehow in some organic manner. Uh, maybe have to think about that. But uh, yeah, so even as it stands right now, like they, he's got contractor in the title, so it'd probably proc for drainage contractor, but it, it could be optimized is the point. Like he's missing out on proccing for a number of things because of that structuring. Dallas Fort Worth top rated landscape and drainage company. So he's got company here. So it's kind of like doubling up there. Seeing that almost makes you think somebody must be doing the SEO in order for that to be variated like that. Could be a lead gen asset. I don't think it is though. It's given the fact that he was texting and then you see just this one guy there or whatever. One thing I liked about his site is you got social proof right there at the top. Pardon me. You've got um, some really a really simple listing of services. Some pictures. Is this just one picture? Okay. Call thing. He, I like the fact that he texted. Uh, things are a lot more concise on his page. He needs more needs more images, and it's it's actually impressive that he's just ranking with this one page. It's not got doesn't have any specialized pages. Recent work. So he could do a lot to improve the on page, but it's wild that he he might have been ranking in Google Maps. Uh, it's wild that he was ranking, you know, at all for something so concise. But that's definitely the benefit of I like the fact that he ranked for Dallas Fort Worth. That's the benefit of structuring for a, for like a, a a wider area is that. You know, uh, you don't have to do so much work creating a bunch of pages, but I would still list those little, those cities on the page. So there's a lot that he could do to improve the on page. Let's actually take a look at the off page just out of curiosity. It's like nothing. Jeez. I'm, he must have been ranking Google Maps, but this the problem was that he he was one of those guys that to, they told me he wasn't even a he couldn't do a quote for like two weeks, and then he wasn't going to be wasn't going to be available to do do the job for like a month. So it was just way too far away. I didn't see any reason to do that. So, yep, there's that company. Uh, some things should be done to optimize and improve a whole lot in terms of on page, and there's basically nothing in terms of off page. There's a lot of opportunity here probably ranking from Google Maps, but you know, insured and bonded. He definitely has a better understanding than the other company of like the social proof element. And it's a much more, it's much simpler. So I do, I do appreciate some things about that. And he, this, this whole speed to lead thing, immediately texting and responding to the quote, that's a big deal. You know, I don't like being jerked around as a consumer. So I appreciate that. Okay. Moving on. Next one, we've got Ideal Landscape Services. This might have been the company that contacted me today. There was a company that contacted me today and it was like, man, a, a week, it's like a week late. 
uh, way too late. Landscape Services, Fort Worth, commercial landscape design. Interesting. They've probably got some other terms there. So they're obviously they're they're focusing on that landscape services term. So they could, they could even improve that, but they've also got commercial landscape design. So that's really kind of their two things. They've also focused directly on Fort Worth. They got Dallas Fort Worth here. And then let's see. Uh, they got more pictures than some of those other companies transform your landscape. And so a lot of mumble jumble content here. Landscape Services Fort Worth, Landscape Design, nice water features, design and installation, hardscapes, design and installation. So they're, they're doing age tags here, and they're obviously focusing on terms. They got dedicated service pages for different types of hardscape features, products and services. Let's look at this one out of curiosity. Nice. So they got picture here for pergola, pergola and arbors. Let's see, cedar. Why real cedar? So they got some internal linking. Oh, nice, nice pictures. This company did see this company did a, did a way better job in terms of, pardon me, some of the on page features and providing pictures from a. Some of this stuff is kind of as a consumer, I just view that as kind of spammy. Like, I, from, like I was saying earlier, like they really need to. The best way to do this would be to outline the problems. And then here is what we suggest for those problems. But the, the problem is that takes a lot of keyword research to be able to correlate those things and articulate those things on a page. And then you got to decide, OK, do I want to have dedicated service pages for each of those things? And where do I nestle some of those things for those dedicated service pages? So there's a whole lot to do for for this kind of a niche. But I really like how this these guys um have so many pictures it's just common sense you know every company in this space needs to be doing something like that but unless i'm mistaken and they did a better job in terms of like we're going to specialize on these two things landscaping services for fort worth and landscape commercial landscape design so i really like how they they kind of specialize on in the, on those things i don't see Oh, there it is. Landscape maintenance, French drains. So let's look at this page just out of curiosity. Ways to fix drainage issues in Fort Worth. Nice. Fort Worth and Arlington. Nice. French drain. They should probably correct this. This is a little bit wonky. French drain, Fort Worth, drainage solutions. French drain, Fort Worth, drainage solutions, Arlington. Oh, that's a bit spammy. They shouldn't be doing that. Um, drainage solutions. So that's a weaker term. They should do systems, obviously, like I was saying earlier, French drain subsurface, French drain level surface. Oh, there you go. Downspout drainage, grassy swale, dry creek bed. Interesting. So I'd have to look at, let's look at the search volume on this. Somebody is clearly uh, doing something there. 3,600 a month. So that's that's not that much volume, but it could be that they're very large. I, I, I don't even remember seeing anyone else do anything like that. And so when, if I was making a, an asset for any of these, for something in this space, I, I would be making notes of all of these keywords in a, into a, a, a notepad and, and going and looking at the search volume and figuring out, you know, what's the price of those kinds of things. And you know, why are they listing that out? Is that something that might be possible for what I'm trying to do? I We had one contractor suggest a swale. And uh, there's, we asked about some other things like curtain drains and French drains. And uh, pardon me. And there's some other things we, we learned about. I don't remember hearing anything about a dry creek bed. So that's pretty interesting. I have to look into that. But uh, so there's some, there's some neat terms here but they're missing a lot there's a lot of drainage systems and styles maybe they just don't want to bother with those it wouldn't hurt to mention them on page though it doesn't it wouldn't matter to rank for them if you can just articulate here's what we do and don't do you know and art articulate the problems and then the solution so they, they actually they got closer to it than some of the other competitors they didn't do it really very well on their home page or their other some of those other whatever the other pages we're looking at they could do with more pictures on this page 
I don't think this is the page that was ranking that I landed on, but anyways, I think they were, I think they were one of the, that their reply was too late unless I'm mistaken. So moving on. Um, so landmark restorations in French drains, this was actually the company that I ended up choosing in, in terms of their quote. And when I first saw them, I was kind of like, oh man, the, the site looks a little older, you know, but it's good to see that they've been in business a long time. And, uh, obviously saw French drains, channeled rains, some other things that they mentioned here. Uh, and it just came down to submitting a, a request for a, a quote. The guy came the next morning and he provided the bid with the, it was itemized and, uh, he said that he could come in two days. So it just the speed and the professionalism, that was a really, that was a really big deal. So that's, the, that's the whole speed to lead field sort of thing. Um, and I don't remember what else he, obviously he, he's, he's got uh, locations listed on page. So that's great. And there's probably something else. This may not be the page I was looking at. Let's see. These guys ranked in, I remember they ranked in Google Maps. And so they, they, they have a lot that they could do to rank in, uh, in the regular web index, free estimate home. Yeah, I think I just looked at this right here. And then just kind of, the, just the fact that he was able to come out quickly and, 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 you know, do, do everything necessary when it came to the actual bid and the work, like, and I guess that's really what it comes down to. But, uh, so I don't really have much to say about this. Like the inter, <laughs> they hit kind of some basic. So and I guess what, what could I say about this from an SEO standpoint? What's the meta tag? French drains, channel drains, core drills. Like okay, he's got a whole lot of stuff in his meta title there. Um, it really just came down to like the customer service component, which is, has really has nothing to do with the SEO. You know, obviously he, he won in, in that he ranked in Google maps. He had some reviews. He listed just some of the basics that I was looking for. And then most importantly, like he didn't jerk my chain. He didn't throw wild numbers out there. He came out quickly. He, he offered to be able to get the job done quickly. So that really just comes down to customer sat customer support and customer satisfaction had really nothing to do with the, the marketing component. Like there's a ton that he could do to improve on his marketing. And if I recall, I'm trying to remember what he was, I looked at this earlier and he was closer to rank. I think he was ranking for French drain terms. Um, so that would be something if I was making a recommendation to this guy and and also that that's not even something that you could learn, but just by looking at the website, but to make a, a recommendation, I would say need pictures and really emphasize the, you know, he says quick response time, but really emphasize like how quickly the response is, how, uh, how you item, that was a big deal to get an itemized quote and for him to be very quickly available and to explain that whole process and to work, to work with the quote in different areas, to refine it very quickly and to, to, to be able to come out very quickly. I know people can't always guarantee that, but I, it goes back to what I said earlier, having a general idea about where the queue is. I don't even know if I've ever seen a contractor site have that, but it's a great idea, like some sort of ticker where they can modify the, 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 the number of services that they have in the queue and the average time to be able to complete a job. And like, I mean, it might be too much work to do all that, but it makes a big, it made a big difference to me. Like it, it, it's a selling point, you know? So just from a conversion rate optimization standpoint, like if contractors started implemented something like that, 
I guarantee you, like it would, it would, it would make a big deal deal to customers. And certainly from, even if you just like do it temporarily, like if, if you're a contractor looking for work and you applied basic on page SEO, you know, uh, practice and keywords and things like that. And then you just said, listen, we're going to come, we'll come out the next, uh, either the same day, same day or next day for quote, for, for a quote. And then we can fulfill the job in under a week. And if you're just getting going, trying to get your first 50 or hundred reviews on Google maps and, and all that business, like just to get the you know queue going, especially in down times, like you can, you can add that, like that makes a big deal to customers. Like, cause that was, that was a big thing. I'm not going to wait two months for a company to come out. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something that I would say, like where this company did really well and it made a big difference and it really had nothing, it had nothing to do with the SEO. Right. So let's move on. Um, Clear Fork Lawn Care. And I was really impressed with the quality of this brand and how they did on their pages. I think they're the most consistently high ranked entity here in DFW for a number of these things. And I was able to meet the owner because he came out, I think within a couple of days of me submitting quote re requests. And I had a long conversation with him and he was a nice guy and I had a good time, you know, good time talking with him. But the problem was that he couldn't come out for like three months because he's so busy. He's like highly ranked for a lot of terms. Um, and then the, the, one of the, the core aspects of the principal quote was like higher than the other, the other bid that I got. So actually what's interesting is the, the excavation component of, of his bid, I think was cheaper maybe, but then to do French drain, he, the, the, the job that the way that he structured it was more complex to do two sections of French drain. Whereas the other guy with landmark, he only did one section with French drain and the rest was like drain pipes. And so that's also a thing too. Like you ne you will never see contractors do this, but putting on the page, the materials and the styles and the way that they're laid out, because, you know, I think contractors kind of just want to figure things out as they go. But if they did a better job of creating a plan and articulating the plan and articulating relative costs, like it could really go a long way to help them and to help the customer and to ensure customer satisfaction and to ensure it's within a reasonable budget, like just throwing in another couple thousand dollars because it's easy to just make sure bases are covered. Like, obviously you're going to exclude a lot, a lot of different customers by doing that kind of thing. So, just something to keep in mind too. But one, one thing that these guys, I really appreciated about their page. And, and I'm not saying that's what these clear fork was doing. I'm just saying that's guilty of every contractor, like in the way that they structure bids and, and all these different things. So anyways, uh, drainage solutions for Fort Worth yards. So drainage, as we saw earlier, solutions is not the right term. It's systems. And you could just say solutions and systems if you really wanted to for Fort Worth yards and fitting the word, the gearing it toward the location and then sneaking in yards in there. That's, that's pretty crafty because you know, that's going to proc for some of this stuff. Uh, I, I, I don't really like this drainage system installation in Fort Worth. It's kind of doubling up on the same thing. It seems kind of like spam to me, but obviously they put that system installation there. So that's good. Um, and a lot of this though, is just filler, what I, filler content. But what I really liked about their page is that they, they very clearly articulated different types of drainage solutions. So you have the French drains, curtain drains, trench drains, sump pumps, dry wells, very simple. And some of the, there was some of the, there's a, one of the other pages in particular, we were looking at that did that. They also had good, inter, uh, some pretty good internal linking that I saw. Pardon me. Um, uh, where this page could be improved is if they they made more granular uh, subterms in these areas and they put pictures and they said, here are the common problems for French drains, you know, and, and the use cases for curtain drains and trench drains. Like if you have this problem, here's the best use. Here's the best uh, solution, because that was a big thing. Me trying to figure out, do we just need the grading or whatever? 
and the excavation. Do we just do we need a French drain or do, do we just need a pipe drain? Do we need a what's the difference between curtain drains and, and, and trench drains and all this business? Like there's a lot of different stuff when it comes to drainage. And it ended up that I, we ended up getting here a, 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 fr a French drain on one part and then, pardon me, uh, collection, like several collection things that just go into pipes. And that was way cheaper to do it that way. Uh, because if you did French drain on the entire region, it would be a f small fortune, basically. So um, it, that, that stuff is important. And it's not that difficult to take pictures and to say, here's what happened here. And this is or, and even to do a tally and just be like, this, this is a common use case for, or for French drains or here's the common problem on a residential property. These guys do so many jobs. It would not be difficult to do that. You know, uh, they just don't want to do it. <laughs> you know, it's easy enough to just like, okay, let's rank the page and then we'll deal the, do the quote. And, and this right here is good stuff. Good, just basic CRO. But yeah, this is obviously a high quality brand. They've got a lot of pages. I, I, I threw it into a data pivot table actually on, actually on the rankings. And they're on, they have a lot of, of terms on page two for sod installation. So I, I, I kind of told him that just to say, hey, thanks for coming out and talking with me. I couldn't I couldn't pick you, but I just want to let you know that you're you have like 20 pages or something on uh, where you have rankings on. You have like 20 rankings on where this sod installation page is on page two for those rankings. So if you just pumped up some backlinks over there uh, onto that page, you'd probably jump right up in the rankings. So anywho, uh great uh great website though high quality stuff definitely someone to to emulate in this space there's some good pictures here they seem to put those pictures and 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 better descriptions on the on the service pages you know really optimize those keyword articulations anyways we got advantage drain rain medic <laughs> that's kind of a positioning thing i like these i like some of these pictures here this this website looks like something from the 90s which in one from one in one angle you could say okay they've been around for a really long time and, the, and on the other hand you could say well <laughs> it's a it's a lot of mumble mouth you know kind of hard to, to to discern what's going on here uh so and it is it, there's a lot of small text it's difficult to pick out what's going on but uh, is this a service page? Okay, French drains, Dallas, Fort Worth. So that's pretty simple. Standing water, shifting and cracking a foundation, cosmetic damage, mold and mildew, etc. I'm pretty sure I contacted them. They ne they never replied to me. So, oh well. Let's see: basement drainage, standing water drainage, French drains, landscape drainage. So they definitely specialize in, in drainage which I appreciate. They've got a, a domain name geared towards specifically drainage. I need to get an HTTPS certificate though. Jeez, that's just silly. <laughs> French drains, Dallas, Fort Worth. That's an inter interesting way to, to structure it. Uh, you, you just a, a little bit of a note, you almost never want to use the piping symbol in metadata. And and you can go do a search on why, you, you but you usually just want to use dashes but uh, just a quick note on that. Let's see what their homepage is. Dallas drainage and Fort Worth yard drainage and flooding spats. That's sloppy. Yeah, that's not, not a very well-structured meta title. Um, flooding specialist. But it is cool that they're geared toward drainage. They have drainage in the domain name, which uh, is definitely something I would do if I was going to do a drainage asset. Okay. But they never got back to me, so for shame. <laughs> Uh, let's see, HD Foundations Incorporated, Texas Solid, Texas Strong. They got two phone numbers, so that's Dallas and that's Arlington. Nice. This is definitely a nice, clean lead gen asset. Multiple locations for NAP citations, phone, big phone numbers. I like, I like the clean look and feel. They got that lead gen form fill. They've got, look at that, they've got saturated groundwater. Whoever designed the site did a good job. Let's see, uh, services, slab foundation repair, pier and beam foundation repair, and then drainage systems. They're they're much more specialized than their competitors. Let's look at their, I'm on the French drains page. Let's look at their homepage too. 
to the French Drains page. It says French Drains Drainage Systems, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington. Nice. So they're, they're, it's interesting that they structured it. Somebody is doing SEO there. They're being greedy and that they target three locations like that. And I think that's kind of sloppy. And uh, again, nope, you shouldn't be doing piping. Don't do commas. And uh, the putting two words like that, two phrases, is kind of just it's kind of spammy. So <laughs> I'm a little as a little sour. I'm a little sour on that. French drains, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington. <laughs> And who who does things like that? Who who push push things in commas? Like here, let me just let me just roll in these meta tags, you know? Like uh, they apparently rank somewhere, so it's it's working to some degree. French drains protect against foundation water damage. Oh, hey, I like that. So they're kind of saying, what do French drains do? French drains protect against foundation water damage. That's great. I wonder if that's tagged. It probably probably is in some in some way. Why install French drains? Nice. Key phrase. Because they solve foundation drainage issues. Da, 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 da. French drains, drainage problems, and foundation issues. Oh, they have a, they have a separate page. I don't think that was a good idea. They should have nestled that into, that into that service page. That would have been much better because they could have concisely listed those problems out instead of doing a dedicated page like that. And... Excuse me. Pardon me. They could. They could. <clears throat> they could have simply put that un, under an H tag, and it would have been much more efficient. About French drains in Dallas, Fort Worth. Why are they doing that? Dallas, comma Fort Worth. Clearly, they don't know what they're. It's probably a foreign SEO. It's Dallas. Dallas dash Fort Worth. I said it's, it's Dallas dash Fort Worth, dude. You're offending a lot of DFW folk right now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, let's see here. I like the bullet points. Really efficient, organized. Not, their pictures aren't that great. They need to add better pictures because this, this looks kind of low quality, to be frank. Um, but the, the bullets make it easier to, to, con, to consume drainage installation process. How French drains stop giant, uh, foundation damage water issues. That's not too bad. There's probably some keywords throughout there. Negative slope. So there's a lot of great things about this, what they're doing. They're nice site design. They need to optimize and consolidate their content, though. They need better pictures. They do have alt tags here. They're doing some weird things with how they're they're spacing out terms and locations. That's a little strange. Could be a lead gen, just a lead gen asset, actually. But, uh, yeah, a lot of good things going on there. But they didn't call me back. They didn't contact me. So it doesn't matter if you make a nice website, if you don't follow up with their quote requests. Your local foundation repair experts. Oh, so their homepage is just geared toward found foundation repair experts. Nice house has nothing to do with their services, though. They should have pictures of foundation repair. Let's see. Uh, for heavy duty foundation repair, contact HD Foundations. It's interesting that they're gearing the homepage in that way. Slab foundation repair. Yeah, so that, that's a little bit sloppy. Like, why would you try to optimize your homepage? For foundation repair and then have a dedicated service page so that's a, that's a little bit strange it is called hd foundations so why don't they just have different foundation pages or just have the foundation repair on the home page and then internally link to i mean it, it makes it seems to me like the home page needs to be called foundation repair and drainage systems and then they can have two h tag sections that internally link to the dedicated pages for french drains and surface drains right that would make the most sense i think so i mean it's not the end of the world they're still ranking obviously but it was done and it was executed in a, in a bit of an inefficient manner 
let's see, durable foundation piers, fair and reasonable prices, expert drainage installations, da, 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 da. Golly, there's so much text here. It's a coupon, there's social proof, nice. Some, is this blog post, what is this? Foundation issues, foundation issues, why install a drainage system? Recent blogs, okay. I like those NIP citations. They have a surprising number of locations. Uh, and and they didn't even contact me back. Rude. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So those are some thoughts on that on that competitor. Some good some good things to glean. Also some 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 weaknesses in terms of their like where there's particularly off is like their 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 page taxonomies, right? And how they they need to consolidate some of their their terms and the way they're targeting things. That's where they they kind of are off. But in terms of a like UI and lead generation asset, I think this is the cleanest one we've seen so far. Last one is Lee Engineering. So they they actually contacted me twice, but the problem was that in the transcription for my phone thing, I thought that it said training instead of like drainage search, uh, there was some other term that she said and, and it transcribed it as training. So I thought that they were like a training company for plumbers and drainage. Uh, so I, I was already pretty close to closing on, on a decision anyways, but pardon me, they, they did follow up. they contacted me twice and so I, unfortunately they just didn't do it quickly enough or there was an, a miscommunication there and, and that's okay that they called, but they should have emailed also. And then it would have, it would have solved that problem. So there would, it would have been no confusion anyways. So we'll look at the homepage also. This is residential French drain installation, Dallas Fort Worth. Nice. So they're, this is the first one that we've seen with the dedicate. I think it's the first one we've seen that that specifically says residential French drain. Let's actually do a, a quick check on residential French drain. Oh, that's only that's a week, only 70 a month. That's I guess that's pointless. <laughs> I thought it'd be better than that. Pardon me. Um, French drain installation surely has better. We didn't really see anyone targeting like that. Yeah, 12k a month. Nice. So that's not going to be a lot at scale, but it might it might even be better to go residential French drainage systems or French drain systems. You know, it, I'd, you'd have to look at the variations and see if you're going to do a dedicated page like that. But still, I'd say this is still, you know, pretty good string comparatively. It's definitely specialized. Um, th their angle was like, obviously this is an engineer's drawing and this is definitely not something we saw on, uh, on competitor sites. They're literally showing you, here's how we build these. And this matters. Like when I've, I slowly like looked into this over a couple years cause we've needed this for a while and different companies build these French trains in different ways. So uh it's 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 definitely something to see how different companies do things and uh i i find that interesting but it, it's also kind of pointless if um there are no other examples of like client work they've got drainage pipe material drainage system filtering so they got drainage system there nice drainage system design and implementation deep french drain okay so they got some keywords on page. It's very sparse though. They, they need conversion mechanisms. They need social proof. They need more terms and they need to articulate problems and solutions, et cetera. What, is the, what are these paginations? It's a really strange way of structuring the content. How did I land on that page? Why was that structured that way? What's page two? Residential French drain installation. 
what is a shallow French drain installation? Page three, four, five. These are independent. Like the one that's ranking is page four. And these are in the, why is it structured that way? That's weird. It needs to all be on one single page, but they have it broken up into different pages. It's, that's, that might be a mistake on their part. That's really unoptimized. And then this is some kind of a weird blog post. This one makes a lot more sense than all the other ones that are broken up. There we go. Yeah, that's what it's, I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Engineer drainage design. That's a see that that is an a, an obscene amount of flooding right there. And they, they take a step there, and the ground is saturated. See that's that's a good picture. Then they have a diagram. That's great right there. They need client pictures though too. So this this is a pretty awesome page, but it's actually not the page that's ranking. Strangely enough, and it's it's it shows that it's like a blog post. So something weird is going on with their content. Let's look at their homepage. Since 1971, wow. Uh, let's see, what are they? Sprinkler systems, foundations, drainage systems. What, what, is, what does the drainage system page do? There you go. French drain installation, sump pumps, shallow catch basins, dry creek beds, wow, retaining walls, concrete drainage flumes. Subsurface drainage solutions, surface grading and drainage swales, downspout drain lines, gutters. Well, they do gutters too. A lot of these companies don't do gutters, and uh, we need to get gutters done also. So that's really that's really kind of odd. Foundation drainage solutions. Okay, here are a small sample of problems we solve on a regular basis. Nice. So they have problems. Standing water and soggy grass solution. Oh, there. See, I've been talking about this. These guys are doing it right here, but they have no internal linking. Standing water and soggy grass. Why would you do it twice? Why don't you just put the solutions back to back? Grading with low profile inlets. So you're saying grading and swales. Standing water and soggy grass. Grass swale with concrete flume. Hey, that's pretty cool. Huh. Man, maybe that's all we needed. <laughs> now I'm second guessing myself. Standing water and soggy grass. Let's see. Grading with low profile inlets. Those are the inlets right there. And that's piping them um, that's basically that's kind of what we got standing water and soggy grass the one one contractor we got suggested a swale but apparently there are issues with that in terms of erosion um but this is interesting a swale with a concrete flume that's like a that's a great it seems like a great idea i never I, that's the first i've seen that you see that at parks and obviously they have to have it some do something like that because it's it, otherwise it'd be really expensive, right? Didn't even think about that until now. Erosion, a retaining wall, standing water and soggy grass, shallow French drain. Okay, that's interesting. Deep French drain with pump. Okay. A channel drain, standing water on concrete. Okay. Slow water flow and blockage. Man, this is a great page. Of course, the problem is it doesn't actually direct you to any of those. It kind of like stops dead where it doesn't hit those. Uh, in terms of SEO, this is a great page, but this is the first time I've seen the page actually because I was lo I I was looking at their their French drain page, and obviously you you guys saw on page four it didn't look like anything relevant so. Uh, I, I, I submitted a request for a quote, though, of course, and they didn't get back to me quickly enough. So that's a problem. But they do gutters. Maybe I'll contact them to do the gutters now. But it's too bad. They have they have a problem in terms of inconsistency with their how their SEO is implemented. And they need to have all those solutions. Like they have some of the stuff on page, but it needs to be structured and it needs to direct to those specialty pages. 
pardon me, and those pages need to have these problems and solutions. This is just fantastic. This is exactly the kind of thing that I, I would be looking for. And because because people need to be able to see these unique types of solutions, you know, like I would have liked to have known about this before I <laughs> went through all that process. So some interesting notes. I don't know how well any of those rank, but what you're doing is you're you're pulling from the big terms and, and drain the solutions wouldn't even be the right one. And then you're redirecting them to like, okay, here is a series of problems you might have, and here are the solutions. So these are all these keywords for all these different types of drainage. They're just, they're just lead magnets, you know, it, they're just lead magnets. And then depending on the problem they actually have, then you can, you can sort of upsell them or whatever into, uh, into a particular type of technology based on their actual issue. You know, obviously that can, that, they can consult on that if they get out here to do a quote, but you're not, you're not going to be prioritized for that kind of thing. Like if, if it's not clear that you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about. So like that stuff needs to be structured a little bit better. Anyways, impressive, some impressive things though, from Lee sprinkler drainage and foundation preservation. Let's see here. Obviously they've been around a really long time. And there's their website's really nice and they have some great things here. Uh, what does their homepage say? Lawn irrigation and foundation preservation drains uh, over optimization on the homepage. So for, for that, I would, I would say they would, they would need to do, they would need to say foundation preser if, if preservation is the term, then then I would do something like that. Foundation, is it preservation? Let me look at the keyword foundation. Oh, wow, look at that. So apparently that's useless, useless. Let's try, this is gonna do makeup terms probably, but let's see what happens here. No, 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 foundation repair. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's a big term, 74K. Repair, repair, repair. It's probably repair. I would guess it'd be repair. Foundation repair, watering root barriers, yeah. One of those other companies was at HD Foundations, had some other interesting terms. You obviously need to look at it more carefully, but I would probably use something like foundation repair, sprinklers, and drainage systems in DFW, Texas. That would probably be what I would do. You know, let's see. Uh, and then from there, you can subsequently link down into all the relevant pages and in the H sections, H tags. This is interesting. I, I just saw it though. There's too many, too much color there. Uh, it would probably be a good idea to make sure that you nestle some of those sub sub services down in there for some of these regions. Foundation watering. Anyways, Nice site though. Uh, there's some some good things going on here. Some areas that I would suggest for improvement. And anyways, just this is kind of a, a, a conglomerate consult that I wanted to do on. Um, just uh, drainage system services and kind of give some comments from a from a consumer standpoint. M mixing in SEO. Uh, recommendations at the same time. So it's kind of like an a SEO audit consults with consumer feedback, you know, based on my recent experience, like in what I was looking for as a consumer, where I think they could do better in terms of their on page. And um, we didn't even look at off page. I think m most are probably less than 100 referring domains uh, on the root of the site. Uh, so people are doing web design and people are doing on-page SEO. 
but it doesn't, I don't get the impression that anybody's doing a good job on off page. Uh, well, not very, not, not significantly. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity to compete here. The, what stuck out to me is, is just like I've been saying over and over, like the competence, comp, 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 competent, com, competency. <laughs> I sound incompetent right now, but the competency problem in terms of like how they're articulating service terms and they're listing those out. And with the few guys that we did, we had come out and provide quotes. We had the first contractor, independent contractor, for example, he wanted to do a swale and then he wanted to do, he wanted to do like a catch basin or something in, in to drill into this concrete area and to put a sump pump down in there, which was just really ghetto, you know? So you have like independent contractors, then you have, you have your more established, you know, companies. And you kind of want to find someone that's like in between who is an aged contractor, who is a legitimate company, but they're not so big that they're doing wild things, you know? And so that guy, we did not obviously mess with that guy. Another guy came out who is very much an independent contractor and, and he wanted to do French drain and, and he, and he wanted to do the gutters, but then we found out that he was subcontracting the gutter job to some other guys. And it was like t twice the price or something that would normally be, or, or at least 70% more than it, it would normally be. And they were all nice, they're all down to earth and, and fine to talk to. Um, but then this guy also, he was charging a, an unusually lower amount for French drain quote. And he wasn't going to go to the street to drain. He was just going to stop it. And it almost seemed like he was going to bring it to the neighbor's yard or something. So there were some weird things like that. And, and really had to go and look at some of the negative reviews. You always got to look at bad reviews like, and just see, you know, is there social proof? You know, what's going on with their, their pages and, you know, uh, just common sense stuff. But like, you know, people oftentimes they hire contractors, they want to get things done. And it's, it's uncomfortable to, to have to like learn about contractor services and a bunch of different things when you when you want to just hire people and assume it's going to be done. But literally, we have never hired a contractor that has finished a job. <laughs> and it, it is such a pain, you know, uh, so like completely finished. And so there are little things here, like with the fence over here, or with like this part of this, uh, part of this wall on this one side, or, you know, not finishing laying down sod or something like that. Like there's always if ends and, you know, things and, you know, it's, it's easy to get drawn into the down to earth thing when you're dealing with contractors and, it's just one of those things where you got to learn to be kind of like, you know, you got to have, it's, it's a process to like, where you just got to keep pressing forward to make sure that, you know, you know, what's being, what things are worth in those quotes and item is itemized, uh, invoices and things like that. And, and, uh, so those, those are some, those are some things I've, I've been observing from my recent experience. The, uh, uh, other, uh, we, and then we got quotes from two companies. There were, there's some other ones that came in, but they could, or that, that, that touched base, but their ability to their queue to get to the job was too far off. And, you know, some of them were late to the party, you know, and so, uh, we went with a good bid based on our knowledge of, from other quotes and, and research online for, in terms of prices and, and, and process. Um, and, uh, pardon me, uh, definitely it comes down to like, once you get out there, like you really got to know what you're talking about, you know, like you can't just suggest here, we're going to build this empire of infrastructure and it's going to cost 10 grand or something like that's, not really interested in that. We're not just going to let you do whatever you want. So you can just, just charge wild prices, you know, not to be ugly about it or rude. It's just not reason. It's just not reasonable. Maybe you get away with that with some people, but, uh, 
you know, that that's that's the thing that's I think difficult about hiring contractors. There's so there's they're always down to earth. They know it they're kind of that's why they want to get out there and do a quote, but they're they're not really good when it comes to like here are here are the problems. We know the problems, here are the solutions, and we're really organized with our materials and being able to match you with the right solution for your budget, etc. Like even look, looking at Lee Sprinkler, there's some interesting things that we saw there that was kind of like, you know, that would have been, you know, I, I, I think we still probably got the right thing. But then again, I don't know, because, you know, once you get the slope and the the, the excavation to create the proper grading, I, I kind of question now, you know, it might be that that interesting style, what was it called? Uh, I pass it. This grass swale with concrete flume. The concrete flume is pretty unique. It might have been that. That might have been what we needed to to do because. Otherwise, you have these uh, inlets here that are collecting water and they're going through this pipe down the street. It's got to be more expensive to excavate, and then to send that water all the way out and. Uh, I don't mean to get you guys, I know we're out in the weeds here talking about this stuff, but uh, this stuff, this kind of thing, it matters. Uh, and uh, I think we still have a good, we have, we have a good product, had a good experience. I, I And the guy with the guys that we hired uh, did a great job. So, but I guess I'm just talking about like <laughs> comparing all these different things and, and dealing with the process of getting quotes and, and and I've had to deal with this in other capacities before in the past, and um, there's just a lot that contractors can do. Like people kind of act like the trades are so saturated, but really, like there's there are very few who stand out who are doing kind of closer to like what this company's doing, who are doing a great job with their content, who are doing a really great job matching the type of service to the problem. You know, and I think those things are all connected. Like oftentimes when we think about SEO, we're just thinking about the keywords. We're just thinking about how can we game the system or something weird like that. But really, it's all about it's it's all about being able to create a resource that that painlessly connects the customer to Here's, here's how I can solve my problem and my pain. And the SEO is actually the, the, using the keywords and structuring them properly in terms of problem and solution. That's what it's designed. That's, that's what it's really for. You know, we're not really supposed to be setting up paragraphs and trying to game the system. We're supposed to be connecting customers with, okay, here's, we, we're going to put this problem on page and we're going to connect you with those solutions. Uh, that's really what it's for, you know? I think Google looks for those kinds of things. You get rewarded when you proc for those keywords and rank for those things because customers are typing those in things in. They have to sort those problems. Pardon me. And then I think it also makes for a better user experience and a better uh, conversion process and quote process, et cetera. So those are just, just some things I wanted to talk about out loud and, and look through those things and do pros and cons and compare those things between some of those those types of websites. I, I know it's like, it probably seems like a weird specific thing, but I just dealt with it. So it just seemed like, Hey, I, this is fresh on my mind. Might as well talk about this. It could probably help uh, a lot of different contractor uh, types as they're trying to figure out how to structure words on their, on their pages. And, and, you know, what, what's the best way to approach doing that and, and past videos for plumber. I did a plumber video where I talked about how to structure locations. In this video, obviously we talked about, um, user experiences as a customer, what I'm looking for, and then how to optimize keyword structuring on pages. So it's a bit different. Anyways, that's pretty much it. If you got value from this, please like, con comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys watching. I will catch you in the next video. And best to you guys. Bye-bye.